everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Tanya today is Wednesday the 5th of Feb my son turns 18 tomorrow I gotta buy him something anyway moving on um, yes so today I am just wearing this dark red burgundy it's like a I don't know like a skater dress is that what they're called um, I bought this sometime last year. I bought it from a store called Portman's. I bought it on sale. It's an interesting fabric. It's clearly a ripped. You can see here. Let's look at my arm. That's the ripped style. That sleeve is actually longer, but I fold it up because I don't like it down to my elbow. I think it looks odd. Um, so the top half is this very obvious rib, and then the bottom part is just a um, just a finer ribbing. Uh, and then the belt is the same as the lower part of the skirt. It comes to just above the knee. Um, it's a high round neck collar, which I I don't like because it's too high. It makes me look top heavy. Um, but I like the dress, if that makes sense. I wonder if I can have it altered and maybe have more of a scoop neckline. I wonder if I can have that done. But I'm not sure because of the nature of this grippy type of fabric, you know. So... I'm not sure how that'll go. Uh, anyway, it's a very nice, comfortable dress. Today is going to be just a nice day. It's not necessarily going to be hot or anything. Um, and I'm wearing the white heels. These are the Zara shoes. So Zara shoes are out to play. I'm still wearing that anklet. I have not taken it off since I bought it. And my legs are pasty white because I haven't, like I've been out. I've got sort of sun on my top half, but I don't know what it is. Does anyone know? My legs do not color they do not tan in summer i don't know why it drives me nuts um i put the suntan oil oil like i'm cooking like a schnitzel out there in the sun but they just don't get color the only time my legs get any sort of tan color is if they burn and of course i'm not going to let myself burn am i because i'm probably going to burn in hell anyway later on apparently according to some people <sighs> anyway moving on. so um that's that's my outfit um yes so these are the the shoes from zara i like them because they're not stark white they're sort of like a mushroom white i wore these the other day also and um i think i broke them in that day because they did hurt my feet at, by the end of the day um they maybe because the point is more obvious prominent pointed on these um they squished my toes a little bit more than some of my others because of course my other shoes are more stretched anyway Moving on, hurry up, get on with it. Um, I just have put my hair back today, so it's a little bit back. I've got a little bit of a fringy thing happening there. Um, it'll get messy. It'll all fall out throughout the day. I'll keep putting it back and stuff, but oh well, whatever. Um, on my face, I don't have any face product other than br uh, bronzer. Um, I'll bring it in actually next time so I can show you again what it looks like. It's a really beautiful bronzer, and it's got like a bit of a blush and a bit of a um, highlighter mixed into it. I have two like that. One Clarins and one Natio. Um, really nice. I like them because you're sort of like killing three birds with one stone, so to speak. Not that I wear blush and highlight. Well, I do wear highlighter. Not that I wear blush much, although I do like blush. Moving on. Get to the point. Um, on my eyes, I have that palette that I showed you yesterday. And on the lid itself here, I'm wearing a dark purple. It's got ever so little shimmer. Just a very slight hint of shimmer. In that purple and then i went with a transition brown sort of across the top and i sort of blended the two and diffused it uh, and then i brought that purple under the lower lash line and i also brought in a uh, like a purple eyeliner and what i did is i ran the eyeliner i ran the eyeliner just along the base of the lashes so not in the waterline itself because it won't stay just along the outside and right along the edge of the lashes there and it looks like i've done it on the inner lash line if that makes sense some pencils will stay some won't and this one that i'm using is a flower beauty one which is by drew barrymore um it won't stay and i've got my mascara on and my eyebrows are still fancy i like them i like it a lot anyway <laughs> wearing the fenty gloss bomb on my lips my earrings are still um you know this top half is always going to be the same pretty much um I want to actually buy a beautiful hoop to put in my rook so that the hoop is obviously facing out, but it has some design on it. I just haven't found the one that I'm really dying for yet. Uh, this one, I'm giving it time to rest. So I'm using the original surgical steel little hoop. 
that was used. Um, I still have the little trio thing happening, but I'm wearing the beautiful long dangly gold and sort of jade earrings that Mimi from Chateau Chic sent me. And same thing on this side. The only difference is that this hoop has a little dangly ball. There's my little ruby conch and crystal star and the matching long earring. Uh, my bracelets are the same. They're the same. They're going to be like that for a while. My sunglasses of the day. You know, it's funny. I always forget to mention my sunglasses. And, I'm, you know, I have beautiful sunglasses. These are my Celine. Hello. Hello. When I wear these, I feel like I should be thinner in the face so that it follows the line. Anyway, whatever. They're just sunglasses. But if ever I misplace these, I freak out. I freak out because <laughs> these cost a bomb. Don't ask me what these cost. I said, don't ask me. Anyway, I like these because look how flat they fold. Like they don't have much of the curve. They're actually quite flat. So anyway, I don't know the model name of these. Don't know. But they're a slight cat eye and they're the black. And they look like the tildes, but they've got more cat eye shape to them. Anyway, um, I have today coming into work um, four ex students from last year of my year 12s who will speak to my current year 12s um, about you know getting through the year what it's like juggling a job juggling girlfriends juggling social life work uh, did I say work mm. um, getting through homework you know how to maximize their time at school using their teachers to their advantage stuff like that so I'm really looking forward to seeing them seeing them i can't wait to see them because we have a group chat happening so we chat now and then but i just want to see them which is really really nice so there you go that's my day today pretty much full of teaching and then i think oh i have to go buy my son something after school today after work okay i will touch base with you later on so take care everybody take care everybody god bless and i'll see you next time